Good evening and welcome to this evening's Pilates class via the MTU Succeeding Together series. My name is Norma Buckley and I am one of the sports officers on the MTU Cork campus. On behalf of the department and my colleagues, we are delighted that you can join us here this evening. The MTU Cork campus sports department has a wide range of sports, something for all, varying from indoor to outdoor to water sports. You can find the full list of clubs on, our, on, our, on the MTU website. We are also on Facebook and on Instagram, so be sure to like and follow for more information. Unfortunately, this year we have not had the most active of years, but we are looking forward with hope and positivity that we will be back in action very soon. The MTU Cork Campus Sports Department awards sports scholarships each year to across a broad range of sports. It is important to note that you must have accepted your place and your course before you apply for a scholarship. Application forms will be available mid-August from the website and the deadline this year for scholarships is the 7th of October, so you will have loads of time to apply. Our scholarships range in value from 500 to 1500 euros. We are extremely fortunate in MTU Cork to have top class facilities all on site, including AstroTurf, outdoor and indoor track, eight grass pitches catering for GAA, Camogie, ladies football, rugby, soccer, AFL, uh, and many more, and all surrounded by our new cross country track. Our new sports stadium is well and truly underway with progress each week flying along, and this will be home to our new state of the art gym and sports halls. Pilates is one of the weekly classes that we offer free of charge to our staff and our students. Yvonne, our instructor this evening, has been teaching Pilates with us for many years and we are delighted that she is available tonight to put us through our paces. Finally, we are running a fabulous competition to be in with a chance to win a Pilates hamper, including a Pilates mat, a foam roller with the exercise printed on it, which is always very handy, a stability ball, a Pilates softball and a set of resistance bands, along with a 50 euro voucher, one for all voucher. How do I enter, you ask? You simply email succeedingtogether at mtu.ie with your name and list three benefits of Pilates. It couldn't be easier. If you have any further questions or queries relating to anything that I have spoke about tonight, sports or, gy or gym queries, please do not hesitate to contact us on sport at sport at cit.ie and we will get back to you as soon as we can. All that's left for me to do is give the floor to Yvonne and hope you enjoy our Pilates class this evening. Hi, my name is Yvonne. I'm a STOT certified Pilates instructor. and um, Thank you for joining me this evening. I am delighted to take part in the MTU Succeeding Together series. So from here, we're going to get started. So if you want to lie down onto your mat, And relax the head, neck and shoulders. Bend the knees and take the feet and knees hip distance apart. And gently start your breathing through your nose. And exhale out through parse lips. Focusing on your breathing. Breathing in and exhaling out. It's a three-dimensional breath, breathing into the sides and back of the ribcage, focusing on the ribcage, opening up and out on the inhale, and closing and down on the exhale. Relax the head, neck and shoulders, and continue to breathe in, and exhale out. Breathing in and exhaling out. Take three more breaths in through the nose and out through parse lips. Breathe in and out. One 
once more, breathe in. And exhale out. Lying in neutral, take the hands by your side. And from here we're going to imprint. So breathe in through your nose. Exhale out. Get the ribcage closing in down. Gently coax the hips to ribs. Pull the belly button tight. Breathe into hold. And release back out to neutral. Breathing in. Exhale out. Get the ribcage closing in down. Gently coax the hips to ribs. Pull the belly button tight. Breathe into hold. And release. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale out. Get the ribcage closing in down. Coax the hips to ribs. Pull the belly button tight. Breathe into hold. And release. On the next one, I want you to maintain that imprint. Breathe in. Exhale out. Get the ribcage closing in down. Coax the hips to ribs. Pull the belly button tight. Breathe into hold. Exhale. Take your left leg to tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, right leg to tabletop. Breathe in as you reach the right leg toward the floor. Exhale, back up. Inhale, left leg. Breathe in back. Keep alternate sides. Maintain the imprint position. Feeling no strain through the lower back as you reach the leg toward the floor. Breathing in. And out. Four more each side. And three. Inhale and exhale for two. And one more each side. And from here, take the right leg and left leg down. Taking the hands out in line with the shoulders, palms the hands around the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, take your left and your right leg to tabletop once more. Feet and knees together. Inhale, exhale, take the legs to the right as you turn your head to the left. And come back to centre. Inhale. Exhale, take the legs to the left as you turn your head to the right. And breathe in back. Four more each side. Exhale out. And breathe in back. Exhale out. And centre. Inhale. Exhale for three. And back. Inhale. Exhale out. And center, breathe in. Exhale out, two more each side. And come back to center. And again, out. Breathe in back, last one each side. Exhale out. And breathe in back. And exhale out. And breathe in back. Take the right and left leg down to the floor, hands by your sides. Now, breathe in, make sure the heels are close to the bum, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes, lift the heel hips to the ceiling, breathe in at the top, and exhale, come back down through the centre. Inhale, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes and lift, breathe into hold, and lower back down. Inhale, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes and lift, breathe into hold, and lower. Inhale. Exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes and lift, breathe into hold, and lower. Last two, inhale, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes, and lower. And once more, tuck the pelvis under, engage the glutes and lift, breathe into hold, and lower back down. Turning over onto your sides, I want you to pop up onto all fours. Take the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Breathe in, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, arch the lower back, mid back, drop the head, breathe into hold, and release back out to a long leg position. Inhale, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, arch the lower back, mid back, drop the head, breathe into hold, and release. Breathe in, exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, arch the lower back, mid back, drop the head, breathe into hold, and release. Inhale. Exhale out, tuck the pelvis under, arch to the lower back, mid back, drop the head, breathe into hold, and release. 
Inhale. Exhale out. Tuck the pelvis under. Arch the lower back, mid back. Drop the head. Breathe into hold. And release. Last one. Inhale. Exhale out. Tuck the pelvis under. Arch the lower back, mid back. Drop the head. Breathe into hold. And release. Taking the feet together, knees apart, push your bum right back onto your heels, drop the head between the hands and feel the stretch again. Focus on that three-dimensional breath, breathing into the sides and back of the ribcage. Take two more breaths in and out. And once more, breathe in and out. When you're ready, come back out onto all fours. Again, hands are under the shoulders. Now, we're going to go into protraction and retraction of the scapula. Belly button is nice and tight. You're in neutral spine, hands are under the shoulders. Breathe in as you drop the chest towards the floor, keeping the arms nice and straight, letting the shoulder blades glide towards your spine, then return to neutral. Breathe in, drop the chest towards the floor, let the shoulder blades glide and return to neutral. Breathe in. And out. Four more. Inhale and exhale for three. And two. And one. From here, breathe in as you push into the hands, take the shoulder blades away from the spine and then return to neutral. Breathe in, push into the hands, take the shoulder blades away and return to neutral. Breathing in, three more. And return. Inhale and exhale for two and inhale and exhale for one. Lying onto your tummy, take the hands under the shoulders, elbows are on the mat, legs are long. Feet are laterally rotated so that you can open the hips and hands are directly in line with the shoulders. From here, relax the head onto the mat, breathe in, push into the hands, extend through the thoracic spine, lengthen the ears away from the shoulders, breathe into hold, and lower back down. Breathe in, exhale, push into the hands, extend through the thoracic, lengthen the ears away from the shoulders, breathe into hold, and lower, inhale. Exhale out, push into the hands, extend, breathe into hold, and lower, belly button is tight, inhale, exhale, push into the hands and extend, and lower, two more, inhale, exhale out and come up, and lower, push into the hands and extend, breathe into hold, and lower. Now, overlap the fingertips, take the hands onto your forehead, elbows are in line with the shoulders, breathe in, Exhale, extend the upper body up, breathe into hold, and lower back down. Inhale, exhale, extend up, breathe into hold, and lower. Inhale, exhale, extend up, breathe into hold, and lower. Inhale, exhale up, and lower. Inhale, exhale up three more, and lower. Inhale, exhale up for two, and lower. Inhale, exhale out and come up for one. And lower, taking the hands back in line with your shoulders. Push the bum right back onto your heels. Okay, lying onto your back. Take your feet and knees hip distance apart. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Support the head, neck and shoulders. Breathe in, bring your chin to sternum and exhale out and flex the upper body up. Breathe into hold. And release back down to neutral. Breathing in, chin to sternum. Exhale out, let your ribcage close down, flex up, breathe into hold, and lower, inhale, exhale out, and flex up, breathe into hold, and lower back down, lifting the shoulder blades off the mat, inhale, exhale out and flex up, breathe into hold, and lower, breathe in, exhale out and come up, breathe into hold, and lower, four more, inhale, Exhale out and come up, breathe into hold, and lower, inhale, exhale out and come up, breathe into hold, and lower, inhale, exhale out and come up, breathe into hold, and lower. Now, taking the hands by your sides, if you wanted to make this a little bit harder, you could place weights into the hands, feet and knees or hip distance apart, inhale, exhale out, 
Get the ribcage closed and down. Bring your chin to stern and flex the upper body up. Take your left leg and right leg to tabletop. Pulse in the arms like you have a small ball. Breathe in for five, four, three, two, one, and out for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, chin to stern, look into the knees, and out. Breathe in, and out. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe in, and out. Inhale, and exhale. Three more sets, breathe in. And out. For two, breathe in. And out. Once more, breathe in. And exhale out. And from here, relax the head, neck, and shoulders and hug the knees into your chest. Circle the knees to the ceiling for three, two, and one. And change direction, breathing in and out for three, two, and one. When you're ready, take the right leg and left leg down and gently roll up and come to the end of the mat. Feet and knees are hip distance apart. Take the hands out in line with your chest. Breathe in, tuck the pelvis under, arch the lower back. As you roll back off the sit bones, tucking the pelvis under, breathe into hold and come forward. Inhale, exhale out, roll back off the sit bones, tuck the pelvis under, C curve through the lower lumbar, breathe into hold and come forward. Inhale, exhale, roll back, breathe into hold and come forward. Inhale, exhale, roll back, breathe into hold and center. Exhale out and roll back four more. And center. Inhale. Exhale for three. And center. Inhale. Exhale, roll back for two. And center. Inhale. Exhale, roll back for one. And come forward. Taking the legs long, reach up nice and tall. Exhale out, flex and reach. Keep the knees straight. And take a good hold of the feet below the ball of the foot. And relax the head, neck and shoulders. Breathe in and out. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Two more. And last. Now, come into the end of the mat once more. Feet and knees are hip distance apart. Take the hands out in line with the shoulder. You're going to breathe in. Exhale, roll back off the sit bones like you did before. Keep the right hand over the right knee and take the left hand out to the side and then come back to center. Right hand goes out to the side and come back to center and then come forward in that seated position. Exhale, roll back. Take the left arm out, breathe in back. Right arm out, breathe in back and come forward. Inhale. Exhale, roll back, go to the left, then the right, and come forward. Exhale, roll back to the left, and the right, and center. Exhale out, four more, and center. Exhale for three, and forward. Exhale, roll back for two. Keep the hand in line with the shoulder. Let the head follow the hand and center. Last one. Exhale, roll back. Take the hand to the left and then the right and come forward. Taking the legs long. Take the legs slightly wider than the mat. Interlock the fingers. Rotate through the waist and exhale, flex and reach. Keep the sit bones on the mat as you reach the right hand to the left foot. Come back up through the side, return to centre, breathe and twist. Exhale out to the opposite side. Go left hand to right foot. And come back to centre. Breathe and twist. Exhale out. Come back up and centre. Breathe and twist. Exhale out. 
Come back up and center. Breathe and twist. Exhale out. Come back up and center. Breathe and twist. Exhale out. Come back up and center. Last one each side. Exhale out. Come back up and center. Breathe and twist. Exhale out. Come back up and center. Take the legs long once more. Inhale. Exhale out. Just hold that stretch for a moment. And when you're ready, you're going to come to the end of your mat. So balanced off the sit bones, feet close to the bum, C curve through the lower lumbar. You want to make sure that you do not roll onto your neck. You're going to breathe in as you roll back, exhale as you come back to center. Breathe and roll back, exhale up. Continue for eight. So there's a C curve through the lower lumbar. Breathe in as you roll back. Exhale up. For six. Five. And four. Three. And two. Last one. And once more, take the legs long. Inhale and exhale out. Now, taking the legs long, you're going to reach the arms out in line with your chest. Breathe in, exhale, tuck your pelvis under and get one vertebrae at a time as you roll down to the mat with control. Take the hands back in line with your ears, then breathe in when your chin to sternum. Exhale out and peel up one vertebrae at a time and reach towards the feet. Inhale, exhale, roll back, tuck the pelvis under and roll back down. Inhale, chin to sternum, exhale out and roll up, reach forward and exhale, roll back down. Breathe in, chin to sternum, exhale out and roll up, reach forward and exhale, roll them down. Breathe in, and out. Last one, inhale, exhale out and roll up, reach forward and pull the toes back. Now, pop on up onto all fours, you're going to take the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, belly button nice and tight again. Let the ears away from the shoulders and keep the scapula stabilized. From here, you're going to reach opposite arm to opposite leg. So right hand, left leg. Keep again yourself in a flat back position. Your belly button is nice and tight. You don't want the pelvis dropped out. Breathe in, extend right hand, left leg. Breathe into hold and lower. Exhale out and lower. We're going to go eight more on this right side. And seven. Exhale for six and five. Exhale for four and three. Last two and last one. Switch sides, left hand, right leg. Exhale out, breathe and back. Exhale out, breathe and back. For eight, seven, And five, four, and three, last two, and last one. Now, turn to the side. You're going to go onto your side plank position. There's two or three variations of this. So the first version is you go on full hand with your knees together and feet behind. And from here, you're going to lift the hips up and get the hands in line with the knees and then lower back down. If you have any injuries with the wrist, you can likewise go on the elbow, lift the hips up, 
Or the third option is you can go on full hand with the bottom leg long, top leg in front, lift the hips up and lower down. So we're going to continue for eight and lower. Exhale for seven and lower. Six and five. Exhale for four and three. Last two and last one. Switching to the other side nice and slowly. Again, you can go any of the three versions. Elbows directly under the shoulder, bottom leg long, hand on the hip, inhale, exhale up and lower. Exhale up and lower. For six, five, and four. Exhale for three, and two, and one. Coming to a seated position, cross-legged, sitting nice and tall on the sit bones, right hand on the floor, take the left hand, breathe in, exhale, reach it up and over, drop the head, neck and shoulders, feel the stretch of the side of the obliques, breathe into hold, and come back to centre. Extend the left, right arm up, and reach, and come back, inhale, exhale out, and breathe and back. Exhale out and breathe and back. Exhale out, one more each side and center. Exhale out and come back to center. Now, turning back over onto your back, I'm going to take the hands directly behind the head, elbows wide, feet and knees are hip distance apart. Breathe in. Exhale out, let the ribcage close down, flex the upper body up. Take your left leg and then your right leg to tabletop. Your right leg will go long and you rotate to the bent knee, come back to center. Exhale out and breathe in back for eight, seven, and six, five, and four. Three and two and one more each side and take the head down and relax the legs. The next exercise we're going to do, we're going to again you can take the hands behind the head if the neck is strained. You're going to breathe in, exhale out, flex the upper body up and take your left leg and right leg to tabletop. From here, taking the hand on the knees, you're going to breathe in, extend to the right leg long, come back to center, and the left leg long, come back to center. Exhale out, and breathe in back. Just keep the upper body flexed, belly button nice and tight, as you reach the leg out on the diagonal line. Don't take the leg too low, breathing in, and out. Four more. And three, two, and one. And from here, hug the knees in, and again, circle the knees to the ceiling for three, two, one, and change direction for three, two, and one. Crossing the right leg over the left, take the hands by your bum, if you wish, if you've done this before, you can take the hands back in line with your ears. You're going to breathe in as you lift the bum up and lower down for six, five, and four, three, two, one. Change the legs, so cross the left over right. Exhale out, breathe in back. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Coming back up nice and gently, we're going to turn to the side. The left leg goes long, sorry, just connect, checking the connection there. So the right hand goes long, 
relax the head, neck and shoulders and take the legs directly out from the glutes. Take the hand in front of your chest for a little bit of support and breathe as you point the toe to the ceiling, exhale, heels and lower. Breathe and point the toe, heels and lower. Inhale and exhale for four, three and two and one. When you're ready, take a hold of your foot, bring your heel to your bum, push the knee back and get a nice stretch through the front of the quad. Hold it here for a moment. Continue to breathe in and out. When you're ready, take that leg long. Again, the hand can be in front of your chest for stability. You're going to breathe and lift the top leg up. Exhale, bottom leg comes to meet. Breathe in to hold and lower. Breathe in, top leg up. Exhale, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. Breathe in, top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet, and lower. Inhale, top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet, and lower. Breathe in, top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet, and lower. Last one, inhale, exhale up, and lower. Now, let the weight of the top leg fall on the bottom leg, keeping the feet and knees together. Inhale, exhale, lift both legs up, and lower down. Exhale up and lower. Exhale, lift both legs up, stay in the side of the body for four more and three. Exhale for two and exhale for one. Bend the bottom knee so the knee comes to the front, foot comes behind. Take the top leg up hip height and point the toe. Imagine drawing a small circle at the end of the mat, pointing the toe, breathing in and out, four more in this direction, three, nice big circle, two, and one. Change direction, breathing in and out, for four, three, two, and one. Flex the foot, so push through the heel, and from here, you're going to kick forward. Three, two, one, point the toe, send it back. Again, kick forward for three, two, one, and back. Exhale, three, two, one, and back. Two more. And last one. And from here, bend the knee, take it down, give the glute and hip a quick rest. Again, breathe in and out. ready come back up turn over onto the other side so left hand under the head legs directly out from the glutes hand in front of your chest and when you're ready breathe in point the toe heels and lower down breathing up heels and lower breathing in and out for five Four, three, and two. One more. Take a hold of your foot, bring your heel to your bum, feel the stretch of the front of the quad. Taking that leg long, breathe in, take the top leg up. Exhale, the bottom leg comes to meet, breathe into hold and lower. Breathe in, top leg up, exhale, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. Breathe in, top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. Top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. Top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. And again, top leg up, bottom leg comes to meet and lower. Let the weight of the top leg fall on the bottom leg, exhale, lift both legs up and lower down, exhale up, and lower, exhale for six, and lower, five, and lower, exhale for four, and lower down, last three, exhale for two, and exhale for one, 
Again, bend the knee, take the leg to the front, foot behind, take the top leg up hip height, point the toe, circle the leg for six, and five, four, and three, two, and one. Change direction, breathing in and out for six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Flex the foot, kick forward for three, two, one, point the toe, send it back. Three, two, one, and back. Exhale, and inhale. For two. Last one. Bend the knee, take it down, and give the glute a quick rest. Now, when you're ready, we're going to turn over onto our backs once more. And take the feet and knees hip distance apart. So different to the first exercise where we've done a hip roll, we're now going into a shoulder bridge. So feet and knees are hip distance apart, heels are close to the bum, hands are by your sides. You're going to breathe in, exhale, lift the hips up and then release back down. So there's no articulation through the spine. Lift the hips up and lower. Exhale up and lower. For six and five. Exhale for four and three. Last two and last one. Now, take your right leg long, left leg comes to tabletop and imagine that you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with the knee. Keeping your pelvis nice and still, breathe in and out for six five, four, and three, last two, and one, change direction for six, five, and four, three, two, and one, take your right hand onto the left knee, and again bring the knee across the body, Keep the back on the mat, two hips point to the ceiling and feel that nice stretch into the glute. Hold it here, continue to breathe in and out. Come back to centre, take that left leg long, right leg comes to tabletop and again circle for six. Five, four, and three. Last two, and one. Change direction for six, five, four, and three. Last two, and one. Take the left hand onto the right knee and bring that knee across the body. Begin. Keeping the back on the mat, two hips point to the ceiling. And come back to centre, take your right leg and left leg down, turn over onto your sides. Now we're going to go into a side plank with rotation. So hands are, hand is under your shoulder or elbow, knees directly out. We're going to breathe in, exhale, lift up. Take the top arm up in line with your shoulder, inhale, exhale out, rotate, and come back to centre. Exhale out, breathe and back. For six, and five, inhale and exhale for four, and three, last two, and last one. Come back down, switch over to the opposite side. Again, hands directly under the shoulder, knees are bent. Inhale, exhale out and come up. Top arm up in line with your shoulder. Exhale out and breathe in back. Exhale out and back. For six, five, and four. Last three, and two. And one, and come back down. 
Now, in a seated position, you want to cross the legs and take a hold of your left knee and then your left hand with your right, your left foot, should I say, with your right hand. You want to rock the leg backwards and forwards for four, three, two, and one. And then take a hold of your foot and take that leg long. If the hamstrings are very tight, you can likewise hold here. But if you can reach the foot, you could always use a towel and place it around the arch of the foot. Take that leg down. Switch over to the other side. So right hand is on the right knee, left hand is on the right foot. Rock the leg backwards and forwards, breathing in and out. Three, two, one. And from here, take that leg long, knee straight, and feel that stretch into the calf and hamstring. here. Now take the leg down, you're going to pop up back onto all fours and we're going to go into our push-ups. So hands are under the shoulders and you're in a diagonal line, you can do push-ups on fulls or on the knees. From here you want to tuck your pelvis under, engage your core and glutes, you don't want the bum to the ceiling and your head going down, so you want to lengthen through your core, hands under the shoulders, Breathe in as you lower, exhale up. Breathe in lower, exhale up. We're going to go for eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, and two. Last one, and bring your bum back onto your heels and drop the head, neck, and shoulders. Take the right hand through to the left side, left arm long and feel the stretch in both directions. So the right hand is through, left arm is long. The right arm goes long, the left arm goes through. And come back to centre. Now our last exercise before we stretch out this evening is we're going to take our hands directly under the shoulders and we're just going to do a 30 second plank. So hands are under our shoulders, again you can go on the knees if you wish and take the left leg and right leg back, tuck your pelvis under, engage the glutes and from here focus just on breathing in through your nose and exhaling out. Lengthen the ears away from the shoulders, keep the scapula stabilised. Belly button nice and tight. Legs are long, as I say, you can go on bent knees if the back is an issue. Breathe in and out. Three, two, one. Walk the hands back towards your feet, send the bum to the ceiling, rock the head between the hands. Knees are straight, heels are on the mat. And again, breathe in through your nose and out. And when you're ready, come back down onto your knees. And take both knees together. Swing both legs to your left. Take your left leg straight back over your right and bring your chest down onto your knee and drop the head, neck and shoulders. So you want to try and get your right heel in line with the hip. Hold it here. Come back to centre, take both knees together, swing both legs to the right, take the right leg straight back over your left. And come back to centre. 
taking the hands by your sides. I want you to breathe in as you bring the shoulders up from the front and bring them back down and around. Breathing in and out for three, two, and one. And change direction, breathing in and out for three, two, and one. And from here, take your hands together. Well done. Thanks again for joining me and hope you enjoyed your Pilates this evening. So thanks a million Yvonne, that was fantastic. If you would like more information on Pilates or if you would like to follow up with Yvonne, um, her details are on the website or you can email sport at cit.ie and we'll pass on her details. Thanks a million Yvonne, I'm sure you'll all agree that was a fantastic class and thank you for joining us this evening. Just a, a gentle reminder just about our competition again, to be in with a chance to win that fabulous hunter, all, hamper, all things Pilates and your 50 or one for all voucher. Simply email your name along with three benefits of Pilates to succeeding together at mtu.ie before Friday the 21st of May. Again, if you have any questions or queries, please note the email address sport at cit.ie and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your evening.